Hello and welcome to the tutorial on how to upgrade your T-Mobile Dash. Okay, um, this tutorial will cover upgrading your T-Mobile Dash from the Windows Mobile 6 upgrade, um, upgraded ROM, which is the T-Mobile official ROM, uh, to that of the generic HTC uh, Windows Mobile 6 ROM. Uh, let's see, this that is T-Mobile C T-Mobile Hotspot. So um, I mean, I'm going to be cutting in and out. So you're going to see a lot of fade ins and fade outs. That's just because of the fact that my camera cannot record more than three minutes. Yes, it is a sucky camera, but it does a good job recording for now. So um, just bear with that fading in and fading out from time to time. All right. So let's get started. All right. You will need five files in order for this process to go smoothly. The USPL file here will allow you to upgrade to any ROM. The Dash software update is the official ROM from T-Mobile. The RUU Excalibur file is the ROM you'll be upgrading to. The SD application unlock will allow you to unlock your devices, your device in order for you to run the USPL files um, smoothly, um, as well as the Surreal application, Surreal Networks app, app unlock. And this application you will have to run from your device so you'll have to actually put it on your memory card and run it through file explorer so uh... i'll have all these in the description on youtube okay. okay so the first thing we're gonna run here is the sda application unlock application which will pop up just like this and basically you have to have your device connected before you run this application as well um, once your device is connected, as you can see there, my device is connected. It's charging, connected to Active Sync down there. You just push basic, you just push remove lock, and it says please reboot your device, and it's done. Now, before you reboot your device, make sure that you place this file on your memory card. If you don't know how to do that, you just simply go down to Active Sync here when it's connected. Go to Explore, right click on Active Sync you'll see the pop-up is go to explore you see my windows mobile base device click on that you'll see storage card right there if you don't have a storage card you can place it in my documents which will be right there and then you just place the file in here so i'll show you i can move this over the side here put this in there i'll say pop up pop up put ok now the file is in your storage card, as you can see right there, my documents. And then you come down to the device, you click on File Explorer, you see my documents there? Scroll down, you see Surreal App Networks App Unlock, you click on that file, and then it will install it for you. And then I'll say successfully installed, and you push OK, you push done, and then you're basically set. Now you just have to reset your device push the power button power off and uh... that's that T-Mobile right. once you've connected your device back after the reset to your computer you should see the active sync spinning once you see the active sync spinning then you know you're ready to go into this folder here the USPL folder and click on the USPL.bat file. So you want to double click that file. It's going to ask you if you removed your SD card. Please read this information because it's very important that you follow it exactly. Push enter because I've already removed my memory card. Let me see the screen there. So I'm going to keep pushing enter until it says it's going to copy a file to my phone. And then it's going to say do you want to continue? Use it shown risk. Say yes. And then you should wait a while, then your phone will pop up with this message. You want to push yes. And then this thing here will tell you to continue soon. See here, it says continue. Push enter. And then another thing will pop up, and your screen will then go black. And then it should, I think, turn white. Yep, there it goes. When it turns white like this, this is basically the bootloader. Right? Once it's then you can cancel out of this now, push OK. And you'll still see the white screen there. You want to go back into the 
R-U-U Excalibur file push next it's going to load up this file here, it's going to do all of its stuff now it's going to pop up with this like bootloader utility uh, that you saw when you upgraded your dash if you had Windows Mobile 5 uh, if you didn't have Windows Mobile 5 then you wouldn't have seen this at all just follow the instructions, push OK, read it I've already read this so I understand what the terms say basically that if you don't follow this exactly your phone may be crippled and whatnot. Um, but you don't have to really worry about that because it's a very safe procedure if you do have problems that's why you have your T-Mobile T-Mobile ROM and I will uh, I think I'll show you how to uh, get out of a situation if you are in one um, it's very simple just push update and then you'll see it say update notice how it doesn't state the image version because all that information is blocked out on purpose and what I actually like to do is oh it's already been done see how there's no more icon for ActiveSync it automatically closes once this program runs which is a sign that everything is working perfectly if your ActiveSync does not close that means you may end up into a problem now you see the screen is still see I go 4% after 4% you know your your upload is going correctly and you're gonna leave it and make it work if it doesn't if it stops at four percent that means you have a problem and you see how it's still white you will not see anything on the screen it will stay white and that's a good sign it will just take a few minutes and for saving some time I'm going to shut off the camera and wait until it's at the very end uh, just a reminder make sure that it's still going as you can see there now make sure that you do not uh, disconnect your phone in any way, shape, or form because this is the part where it's writing to the ROM. Uh, I'll make it sharper. There it goes. Congratulations, and you should see it. There it goes. See HCC now? That's a new ROM. That's what it looks like. All right. When it's mobile and it says congratulations, your ROM update has now been complete. Your smartphone is ready to use. So you just do finish. Sorry for the quality guys, but it's kinda hard to, from going from my computer screen to my mobile screen because they sharpen at different focuses, I'm assuming. Because if you look here it's kinda blurry. I guess better like right around there. Well here you have to kinda right there so my apologies for that <laughs> but basically this is it I mean it's very simple doesn't take very long to do um, but it's easier to see it on on video than it is for somebody to explain it because it can be a pain this step there it goes mobile operator you will never see the screen again it's very ugly you will never see it again the first time and the only time you'll see it and if you hard reset you'll see it again I think alright so now we're doing the cold boot you have to let that go uh, do not set up your smartphone sync while you do cold boot because when you do cold boot for some reason smartphone sync does not work correctly this smartphone sync here, the wizard um, so you want to wait until your device resets again after your cold boot occurs and then you'll set up all that information and now you're back and if you notice your device is quick see how fast that is? wow, wow that really got bright okay yeah so that's that and to show you the memory saved go to expert I think it's an expert, yep, task manager now it's at 22 um, but that number will go down in time 